Another important example, you know, it's become customary in yeshivot to eat shont on Thursday night. It's sort of the big attraction that keeps people at the Gemara late into the night. So if you eat shont on Thursday night, you just get a bowl of shont and you're not eating any bread. So what bracha do you make on the shont? In the shont that I might make, that shont would have meat in it. Bracha is a shako. It would certainly have potatoes in it. That bracha would be Bare pri ha'adama. But it might also have noodles in it or some derivative of noodles to make uh, everything a little bit more interesting. And the bracha than that is bore mine mizonot. So there is no doubt that when ye chant on Thursday night as part of the reward that you've gotten for sitting around and learning Torah that night, The bracha that you make on the chont is bore mine mizonot. Bore mine uh, mizonot. And uh, some people say that with chont, I mean, after all, you put it on the plate, it's not always, sometimes it looks like you have different foods, like kind of the distribution is similar to putting the different foods on the plate at different times, so that maybe it's a good idea to mix it all together when you make the bracha. But the bracha, the bracha should be bore uh, mine mizonot. Uh, I would, uh, I would uh, add that there is probably a lower limit, although it's hard to know what that is, uh, that if you have so little uh, noodles, so little mizonot in the uh, in the uh, cholent that maybe you should make the bracha on the potatoes first. Uh, so in order not to get involved in that kind of problem, if you're committed to putting mizonot into the uh, into the uh, cholent, make sure there's enough. This is enough so that it seems like there's a noticeable amount of these noodles, which would enable you, again, to make the bracha without any doubt.